Alright, so we back on here with another podcast. And this time, I'm on video with it. So, I got some recommendations. I do visuals with it. And I'm kind of rocking with it, too. So, we gonna rock with this. But today, we gonna be talking about... Hold up. Hold up. I'm on my cellular device. Don't ask for my screen red. Actually, I'm gonna explain on my screen red. My screen red, because when you about to go to bed, your brain secretes melatonin. So... You know, it's like blue light coming from your phone. So I turn it red. So like it blocks the blue light or whatever. If you want to do it, you can go to settings and look up color filters and you can set it. And then if you go through shortcuts, you can automate it and they'll set it for you. But anyway, like if you're one of my phones, right? Because like, well, it's kind of thorough. But anywho, hold on, let me see what we talking about today. I put it in my notes. The topic of today is basically like what songs and albums I've been listening to recently because I don't know. I've just been on like an old album kick and then like just audio books I've been listening to. It's going to be kind of quick, but just some like cause I, y'all know I'm big on music. I used to record, so I'm going to kind of just go through my playlist and just tell y'all what I've been listening to because, uh, oh, well, uh, let me start with, um, I'm going to start mentioning the new feature album that dropped. I like it, like, I gotta give it another listen, but I listen to it, like, once or twice, and, like, I like it, like, it kinda, cause, speaking of Future, Dirty Sprite 2, and I listen to Hendrix and Future, and I ain't gonna lie, like, and then I listen to, this is one EP called Evil, well, it's E-V-O-L, like, love spelled backwards, like, I don't know, I thought that was fine, and I ain't gonna lie, this is one song called Lil' Haitian Baby, or Lil' Haitian Baby, I ain't gonna lie, that jump fire, like, I ain't, I, I listened to that when I was younger, like in elementary, because that's when that dropped, and like I ain't listened to it ever since. So I was like, let me let me replay it, and I'm like, yeah, that's on fire. But no, nah, I think honestly, this might be a hot take, but Future's better than Drake in my opinion. Like Drake, I think Drake's still respectable. Like he got some good albums. Like I listened to nothing. What's the, what's like? Don't flame me. Don't flame me. What's the name of this? Let me go to Drake's page. I'm on his page. Hold on, hold on. Not t- well. Take care is good. I don't think that's his best best album. For me, at first, it was. Uh, if you're reading, this is too late. That was my favorite Drake album. Cause, bro, I remember my brother put me on, and like, I think it was like third, fourth grade, and I was just bumping straight. If you're reading, this is too late. Like, bro, I knew the whole album by heart. Like, bro, that album is still top three Drake in my opinion. But, nah. Nothing was the same. I was about to say nothing was ever the same. But nah, nothing was the same. Yeah, this album. Fa. I ain't gonna lie, that's his best album. Like, no misses, it all flows perfectly. Cause the thing with albums, bro, if it doesn't flow, it just sounds like a playlist like that a fan put together. Like, bro, if you want to make a fire album, it has to be cohesive, it has to flow. And, like, it gotta make sense. It has to have a theme. But yeah, this is, in my opinion, this is Drake, this is Drake's best album. But for all the dogs, I mean, y'all y'all might clown me. It was high, like it was just cool. Like I don't, it doesn't really have replay value for me, and I don't really listen to it. But from what I've heard, like top three Drake albums, I'd probably say nothing was the same. Number one, if you're reading, it's too late too. And for three, you could probably put Take Care. Probably Take Care. I listen to Views again. Views is cool. I think Take Care is better, though. But a lot of people like Views. But, I mean, Views is all right. Like, it's cool. I think Views is but be- I actually like Certified Lover Boy. Is, like, it's better than For All the Dogs, obviously, in my opinion. But I don't think it's better than Take Care. And, like, by a landslide. Like, no question. But, yeah. Um, Some other stuff. I listened to a little bit of Rodeo again. I think Rodeo is Travis's best album. That might be a hot take because people think Asher World's his best album. I don't think Asher World's his best album. Like, I don't know. It might be. It, I think it's top three. But at the same time, though, like, listen, listen. Listen, hear, hear me out. Hear me out. Don't, don't like. Birds in the Trap Sing McKnight is low-key better than Asher World, in my opinion. Like, I don't know. It just sounds way more, I think it's way more nostalgic, obviously, because it came out before Asher World. But I just, 
it just sound like I just like that darker theme cuz like this that like um like days before rodeo type stuff like I ain't even listen to it but I listen to like Mama Sita and stuff like that little dark like kind of like sinister theme I don't know I like that more than Astro World Astro World is more like futuristic in my opinion like but Astro World got like can't say bro can't say is bro I remember I was bro me and my friend used to always talk about this bro like the way Don Tolliver came in like out of nowhere and we didn't even know who bro was like bro that was crazy and then you got obviously sicko mode like that was crazy I remember at uh what was it ninth grade our ninth grade dance I'm so thorough not ninth grade middle school it was middle school because we used to have like dances and I remember this is off topic but we had a pit like we had a mosh pit and they broke it up because they wasn't they wasn't they wasn't they wasn't cooperating with the mosh pit so they broke it up and uh they was playing it but i remember they played the x uh uh they played megan the stallion i was like okay that's that one song with the baby that was cool they played a whole bunch of stuff but anyway it was a pit and one of my friends was crowd surfing i remember a girl got a sprite thrown on her like it was just crazy but i don't know anywho i don't even know what i was talking about them anywho like can't sit not nah, yeah like i said can't say with don Tolliver's fire uh, I liked the Yosemite for a while, but I don't really listen to it no more. Astro Thunder is fire. Uh, what else? I like Coffee Bean. Coffee Bean's fire. Uh, can't really think of nothing else on that album right now. Like I'd have to look at the track. Like, hold on, let me look at the track list. Let me look at the track list. Hold on, wait, 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 nah. Before I look at Astro World, I'm finna look at Rodeo, because Rodeo, that's like my favorite Travis album. Like, no doubt. Like, that album is just perfect to me. Let me see, let me go to this man's, this, uh, now Utopia was good, though. Utopia is really, I think Utopia is good. It's pretty good. I think it's probably better than Birds in a Trap Sing. Mm. Dang. Which one do I like? I think for me it'd probably be Rodeo, Birds in the Trap, Sing McKnight, Astro World, then Utopia. But that's not including like the collab project with Quavo. There's a couple good songs on there. But hold on, let me see. Let me go to his albums. Okay, we got Rodeo right here. Like, bro, Rodeo got some cr- crank on it, bro. Uh. I like I liked oh, oh my this side 3500 90210 Nightcrawler crazy crank Antidote obviously crank impossible crank Marie I'm drunk crank Apple Pie was fire uh all these other songs I don't really have that many memories with them but the ones I just listed those crazy especially Nightcrawler bro imagine Mosh into that bro but then Birds in a Trap sing the night bro like they got some some crank on here too. Like, I like Way Back, Through the Late Night. I liked that a lot when I was younger. Beebs in the Trap was fire. S- nah, SDP Interlude, bro. I ain't gonna lie, that's probably one of my favorite Travis go- songs. Like, bro, like, listen to that on the highway, like, when it's dark. Bro, I'm telling you. I'm telling you, bro. I'm telling you, bro. It's wild. Sweet, sweet, fire. Goose- goosebumps, obviously, fire. First take, fire. Pick up the phone, fire. I like Wonderful. I think the weekends on that. But you like um Yeah, Hunto it's Hunso Jack, Jack Hunto with Quavo. If you're talking about like if you want to consider that an album, that's probably the worst one. But if you're talking about solo albums Well I don't know if Utopia is better than Birds and Trap Sing Good Night. I don't know. That I mean, I'm gonna leave that up to y'all. I don't know, but like other than like, oh, well, I'm gonna mention one more, one more person, Kanye. I listen to a lot of old Kanye albums. I listen to Graduation. I listen to The Life of Pablo. I listen to a little bit of Yeezus, and I think that's it. I think that's all I listen to. But I think the life of I like the Life of Pablo way more. Like the life of like, hold on, let me go to the album. Let me go to the album because I don't, I, don't, I want to make sure my information is correct. Uh, 
I look. Let me see. All right, so we got Ultra Light Beam, crazy. Father Touch My Hands Part One and Part Two, crazy. Fame is crazy. Uh, Waves is crazy. Real Friends is crazy. No more parties in LA, bro. I ain't gonna lie, bro. That's that crank, bro. I ain't gonna lie. That's top three in the album from what I remember. Uh, other than that, I, like from what I heard, it's just. Like it's recent. It's not super recent, but it's somewhat recent. But it's somewhat old. Like it's like I don't know. Like it's like a good mix of like. It doesn't sound like old Kanye. Like I gotta listen to more like, more Kanye. It's like determine that. But anyway, like. Let me think of some more like recent albums, that I'm like, it's crazy. Uh, let me see. Osama season by Osama Sun, crank. Flex music was cool. Is it better now? I think Osama season is slightly better than Flex music. But the 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 deluxe flexra was hard. Like cartels hard, rehabs hard. Was it flexers hard? I liked pretty much every song on the deluxe, like crank. Like a great chaos by Ken. Crazy. That's his best album. If you don't think that's his best album, you're tripping. No misses. It just I don't know, just his energy on that. It just sound like he found a sound. Like no misses. Uh, this oh, this didn't come out this year. It's S eighteen by Slump Success. I think that's his best. I think that's his best EP. Like, and then speaking of Slump, bro, he got a new tape on the way. It's called Glory Two. Like, bro, I'm telling y'all, like, Slump. Like, I personally like Slump. Some people don't like Slump, but I think Slump got a lot of potential. Like, he he. I think he's waiting for the perfect time, but. I think Slump is personally five, in my opinion. Let me look through my playlist. Uh, like I started listening to MF Doom again. Well, not again. It's my first time really listening. Well, technically it is again because my dad used to play a lot of MF Doom in the car. But I didn't really know who bro was. So obviously, I was little. So I'm like, who's this? And then like when I got older, obviously, me now, I... Uh, started listening to MF Doom. I listened to Mad Villainy, which is apparently the best collab album of all time. I'm not gonna lie, I can't really confirm or deny that. I listened to it like once <laughs> at the gym, so I couldn't really tell you. But I need to listen again to make like a affirmative decision. But from what I heard, it sounds pretty good. The production's good. MF Doom got some good flows on there. Got some good bars. He, I mean, he's a pretty good lyricist. But I gotta re-listen to tell you. But uh. Like some songs I got on here Cut Up by Osama Sun Flashing Lights by Kanye Lose It by Ken One Beer by MF Doom uh, Trenches by Osama Sun I got some old Kendrick on here too Well not really old It's called How Much A Dollar Cost It's off of To Pimp A Butterfly uh, Chase on here Chase Fi uh, Yeet's on here uh, Tana Tana's Fi uh, you know, stuff like that, like, most of the stuff I play at the gym, because when I'm at the gym, I don't, well, when I'm on walks, I like listening to audiobooks, I'm gonna get into, like, the audiobooks in a second, but when I'm at the gym, I just like listening to music, like, I've never listened to audio, not yet, at least, I haven't listened to an audiobook while I was lifting, because, I mean, I just think that's kind of weird, in my opinion, like, when I'm lifting, I don't really want to hear a person talking, like, at all, I just want to hear some, like, crank. And obviously, listening to music, especially if it's like rap and upbeat, can get you in the mode or whatever. But I don't know. I just like that type of background music. Like, it just works for me. But uh, if I could recommend an artist, let me think. Probably Slump. I I'm, I would look out for that new, that new album. I think it's going to be straight bangers, no misses, in my opinion, but. I can't confirm or deny. I don't know the album hasn't dropped yet. And then I would say the Future album. I'd probably listen to it because it's Future. Future, I think Future is one of the best trap artists of all time. I think that's kind of, unde- like, you can't debate that. Like He he kind of po- made the way for trap artists, and he just, he's pretty consistent. So I'd give it a listen. But from what I heard, I'd probably give it a 7.5 to 8 out of 10. It's some good song. It's supposed to be a song with Cardi and Travis. That's pretty good. I think that's, like, a highlight off the album, but... Anyway, veering away from music, 
let me talk about some audiobooks. I'll talk about two because I just finished one of them this morning, and the other one I finished about like two weeks ago. Um, I'm gonna kind of summarize this. Well, the audiobooks I read, they're off of Audible. So if you want to get them, you can either buy them or you can get a subscription or something. But the the one I just finished reading is called The Courage to Be Happy. Wait, no, 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 no. I'm tripping. It was a recommended one. The Courage to Be Disliked. That's what it's called. It just talks about one thing that stood out to me. He was talking about how, like, how to make people your comrades instead of your, instead of your enemies. Like, not looking at people like they're against you. Like, trying to include everybody. And think of what can I give this person instead of what can they give me, you know, just giving back more than you receive type thing. I think it's really important, you know, just thinking about the impact you can have on the world instead of, you know, trying to, you know, feed off of people and take advantage of people. I wouldn't really advise that, in my opinion. But, you know, and then it also mentions, um, you know, not trying to. Um, appeal to everyone and you know doing what you truly want to do and not trying to satisfy everyone and do everything that people want you to do like sometimes you have to like it talks about um doing your own tasks like that really stands out like not everything that people want you that people want you to do you have to do like certain things like taking out the trash and stuff like you probably want to do that but, like certain things you have to set boundaries and say no and just do it because that's what you want to do and that's your non-negotiable. So you got to get that done before. You know, I'm not saying that uh, you can't help people, but, you know, just knowing when to say no and when, you know, they're pushing the envelope and they're trying to get you to um, compromise when you ne don't necessarily have to, you know. That really stood out to me. And then what else? What else stood out to me? I think with these audiobooks, you have to re-listen because when you're listening, like you're listening, but some things kind of go in and out for me. But I think with these, you have to listen multiple times. For Based what I got from that, you know, don't let other people change your identity. And then another thing is community. Like, you know, living to, like I said, kind of give to people, not letting people take advantage of you, but, you know, give people knowledge and pass on knowledge to help people learn from your experiences. And I think experience is one of the most important things in life. And then the other one I read, well, not read, I, I listened to it. Let me see. Oh, Mind Shift is by Erwin. Started playing. Erwin, Rafa, Erwin McManus. I almost butchered his middle name, but, you know, it talks about mindset and, you know, um, Basically, what I got from that is the mind is everything. You know, if your mindset's not there, you're pretty much going to crash and burn. So, you know, it just kind of reassured me that, you know, you know, self-doubt and, you know, not really being sure of what you want to do. You know, just. It's another thing they talked about in the courage to be disliked, like interpersonal interpersonal relationships is very important, like the relationship you have with yourself deems how pretty much how your life is going to look because you don't have a good relationship with yourself your life is pretty much going to be chaos so if you can figure out who you really are as a person and you can know yourself which takes time and you know i'm still learning that you know uh and just being real with yourself not you know obviously i would say in some instances it's good to be delusional but sometimes you gotta you know be real and be like okay this is what happened how can i you know fix this you know, that's how you kind of have to go about things. But, you know, it talks about, you know, the mind, the mind and, um, you know, how to, um, hold on, let me see. I don't, don't want to lie to you. Let me look at like some of the chats, like change your mind. It's all about people. You don't need a, oh, it's a, it's a big thing right here. You don't need an audience, like, in like integrity type thing, like doing the right thing when people aren't watching, choosing the hard right over the easy wrong. You know what I mean? Like that type of thing. And then um, you find what you are. Like, basically, who you're, like, you know, people always say, uh, like, whoever you're around, like, choosing the right people to be around. It's really important to choose a good community and um, make sure the people around you aren't shifting you, like, in a whole different way that you shouldn't be. But um, it's a summary of the two audiobooks. This one I just talked about is called Mind Shift by Erwin McManus. And then the other one is The Courage to Be Disliked is by uh, 
I think it's Ichiru Ichiru Kishimi. I think so you say that. Um, so if you want to go on Audible and check them out, I'd give it a try. The next one I might read. I'm not 100% sure. I think I may or may not read. It's a book called Trust by Dr. Hen- Henry Cloud. Not really sure. I know um, one guy on Instagram recommended that, but I'm not really sure. But it was kind of a random episode. Like, you know, it's like 9.49 p.m. right now. I just it was just talking about I just want to talk about music I was listening to. And just some old albums that I listen to and just maybe like some little rankings of albums and then some audiobooks. Because I think if you can read or listen to an audiobook and get information from people that have gone through experiences that you want to learn about, you know, being a lifelong learner, that's really important. I've learned that. So I think if you can always learn and be a student, I think that's really important. But um, it's my first, you know, see my face video episode. If you all want more videos. Or, uh, like, if y'all like audio only, let me know. But um, that's the episode, and I'm going to catch y'all next time.